For nearly 40 years, presidents of both parties have been telling us that we need to end our dependence on fossil fuels. Now, in the age of climate change, more than ever, the conventional wisdom is that we need to make a rapid transition to alternative forms of energy. American Enterprise Institute scholar Dr. Kenneth Green explains why it might not be so simple. There are three good reasons to think we're going to be sticking with fossil fuels for a good long time. Those reasons are cost, scale, and to a certain extent, green hypocrisy. On the cost front, oil, natural gas, and coal are far less expensive as fuels than are wind or solar power. They're so much less expensive, in fact, that it's only by dint of using them that we remain competitive on world markets with the goods and services we want to make and export. Well, um, when it comes to scale, here's the problem. Coal, oil, and natural gas are very, very dense fuels. If you picture the amount of energy in a cup of coal, it's a lot of energy. If you picture the amount of energy in a cup of oil or gasoline, that's a lot of energy. If you picture the amount of energy in a cup of sunlight or a cup of wind, that's not a lot of energy. So to replace fossil fuels with these very diffuse sources of energy like wind and solar power means you have to have an awful lot of them. To replace, for instance, one traditional coal plant, you probably would need about 5,000 windmills because the windmills are only about 20% efficient, efficient. They're only producing power about 20% of the time. So you need a five-fold uh, safety buffer of wind to replace even one coal plant. Well, it's even worse for solar power because solar power is so much more diffuse. To replace the power of a coal plant with solar cells, you need about 625,000 solar cells. But in fact, you really need more than that because you can run the coal plant at night it's very hard to run your solar plant at night. So you probably have to have a double capacity to match even one coal plant. The third reason to think that we're gonna be sticking with fossil fuels comes down to green hypocrisy. If you look around the country, places like Cape Cod being the most, that's not an example, but Nevada, Wisconsin, Maine, California, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, environmental groups at the local level are blocking alternative energy projects that are on the ground that are trying to be built. So, for example, if you wanted to run power from the inland valleys of California out to San Diego, you have to cross a state park, and the environmentalists will block the power lines. This is the case with almost all of these projects, wind and solar power, which suggests you're not going to see them anytime soon. The national groups say, we're all for it. The state groups say, we don't want it. And so what's likely to happen is you'll have this energy not materialize while your coal and, and natural gas plants age and wear out to the point that you'll wind up with a crunch, and then people will build more of the traditional fossil fuel plants to replace the energy.